A lot of details in this passage, ignore most of them. Really just focus on the main character and you should be fine. So let's take a look. Uh, in 1935, Hallie Flanagan was chosen to lead the Federal Theater Project. This project was part of the New Works Progress Administration, a program created by President Franklin D. Roosevelt to provide jobs for unemployed people during the Great Depression. As the director of the FTP, Flanagan created jobs for over 12,500 performers, designers, and other theater professionals across the country. She also kept ticket prices low for the shows they staged, which meant that people could afford to experience theater for the first time. So my dumb summary is this is about this person Flanagan, right? It's a little mini biography, maybe that first paragraph you would see on Wikipedia of this person. So let's look at the choices. Choice A, what is the main idea? Jobs provided by the FTP were intended mainly for performers, designers, and other theater professionals. Notice what this choice doesn't mention at all. Flanagan, right? We don't get this person. So the main character of this choice is just wrong. It's, I guess, the FTP, uh, so that's mentioned in the passage, but that's clearly just one aspect of what's going on. That is the only mentioned because we're describing what Flanagan did. So she was in charge of this thing. So no, uh, B president Roosevelt created the WPA to provide jobs for unemployed people. Again, that's true, but who's the main character? It's not Flanagan. It's it, this choice has it as Roosevelt. It's that's not the main character of the passage. C during the great depression, many people couldn't afford to buy theater tickets. Again, that's true. But the main character is other people, but we want the main character to be Flanagan. So hopefully D has that. As the director of the FTP, Flanagan succeeded in creating many jobs and introducing people to theater. Yes, this is about her, right? That's all this really came down to. So in a way, all of these choices are true, right? They repeat information from the passage. But by thinking about, okay, the main character, we're able to just distill this entire thing down to just one idea. Who is this about? And a character doesn't always need to be a person, but it's basically like, yeah, what's the subject? What's the topic, right? And that can help you sort through answer choices that, yes, may be true, but don't relate back to that, that main idea. So a lot of you are going to get this right from this for the kind of the same reason of just like feeling it out and being like, oh, well, it's more about this than these other things. That's fine. But I do think that this main character thing actually helps a lot when we get to harder questions where it might be harder to see why wrong answers are wrong. So if we can think about the main character, that might make some of them more obviously incorrect and give you a better shot of answering some hard questions as well.